What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of 4. In this video we're going to be doing model mods 1 to 6 switch. So the 1 to 6 switch if you want me to just quickly explain it to you what it is is it's basically instead of having to open the DeLorean up and press the buttons to turn on your DeLorean you can do it via remote control. So that's absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what comes in the kit and then we're going to talk about how to install it and also have a little demonstration on how it looks. And then if there's any questions that you need, you can ask them in the comment section down below, or you could just go check out Model Mods because they will have all the answers that you need on their website as well, okay? But in this video, we're just gonna have a nice demonstration of how it all works and all the techniques and all of the craftsmanship that's gone into this. We're gonna have a nice detailed look at that. So this is how the kit looks once you take the lid off. So here's the lid and you get these pieces in here. So the first bit that you get is the one to six remote, which is just in there. So we'll just quickly pop them out of the box just so we can have a quick look. We will get um, a closer look. So we'll bring you over so you can see me working on the model when we, when we install it. So we'll make sure we do that. So that's the one to six, which look how little it is. So compact, you can you know carry it around with you. It's absolutely fantastic. Also, um, you get the cable in. So I'm just gonna show you that now and we're gonna show you where they go. So you get um, the main cable in here, which is turns, which plugs into the EM circuit board, which in turn plugs into the board that's in here, which turns it wireless for us to use. You get the extension cable for the power mod. You, if you haven't got the power mod, please go check out the power mod video. I actually got that up here. You can go grab that for modern mods as well, which I will leave the link for that in the channel description as well. So please go check that out if you're looking to grab the power mod. Uh, there's a couple of sticky pads because we'll need to stick this board that's in here onto the back with the other EM board. And then you've got this little uh, keychain hook thing to put it onto your keys so you can carry it around with you. This is the board that it comes with as well, which is the final piece, which is the brain box of the whole thing. That's just so good. Uh, just gonna quickly take it out. So this is it, it's a nice little black box. I do like the black actually, to be fair, it looks really nice. So there you go, so it's there. And then that is where the component will plug in. But we'll get a nice close up close look at all of this now. So I'm gonna bring you over to have a look and then we're gonna talk about all of the things and you know, and show you how to install that. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so now let's have a quick look at what comes in the kit. So we have a nice detailed look of the remote. So if you wanna know about the remote, the remote is, as you can see here, quite compact. It is also waterproof. So we're just gonna pop it in some water just to show you how waterproof it really is. So we'll leave that in there for a moment. While it's in there, let's just talk about uh, the um, the remote as well itself. So with the remote, it is an IP68 remote and that's what makes it waterproof. It also has a little seal inside it, inside there, to um, where the battery compartment goes, just to keep it all nice and waterproof and watertight. So if you have it out and about and you're worried about it getting wet, don't worry about it. As you can see here, if there's any spillages or anything like that, you are completely safe and covered. Just to let you know that it takes a 2032 battery inside and it should last up to around about two years. So you can undo that. We'll show you how to do that in a moment if you want to replace one of those at a later date. But for now, we're just going to leave it in the water. You also get these little sticky pads. They will go on the back of the board. So this is the, the uh, board that is created by Modern Mods. As you can see, it's absolutely fantastic, really detailed, and it has a lot of features on it. This will stick onto the back of here. Well, this has already got the sticky pads. You stick this to the back of the vehicle and that sticks onto there as well. So it will Velcro on at a later stage. Also, just so you can take it off as well if you need to. This is the cabling that you get. And this is going to be one of the first bits that we will need to install onto the vehicle itself. As you can see, it has the proper terminals on the end for it to sit into the board how it should do when it should have came when EM did their cable in. So there you go. So that is that piece. You also get the extension, as we talked about a second ago. That is just here. We're going to show you where everything goes, so don't worry about that. So this will just be the extension from the board onwards. So we're going to do that as well. And then this is the tiny little keychain piece, which allows you to put that onto your keys. So we're going to just move all this out of the way for a moment. And then we're going to bring over the vehicle itself, just so you can have a quick look um, at the car. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it over. You can, it's going to look a bit odd how it's standing, because as you can see, um, it is up on a box at the moment uh, just to keep it all in place so you can see what's going on as we try to install stuff 
onto the vehicle. So we're just going to move on now on the first step of what we need to do uh, to get the one to six switch in place and also tell you a few facts about all of the bits that as we go along. So for the first stage guys, if you haven't done it already, you will need to have the power mod installed. So the power mod should have a couple of extra uh, cabling left over for you to power additional bits. And one of them is gonna be EM's new board. So what we need to do is we will need to just take the extension and just pop that in. Make sure you do red to red and black to black. And if you do that, then at least you know you're on the right track. So this is going to extend it enough to be able to take it over here when we attach it to the back of here. So what we're gonna do at the moment is just put that out of the way. We will need to remove EM's switch. So this is the one to six switch. So we're just gonna pop this out because all this is doing at the moment is just powering it via the switches that are inside the car. We don't need that. We can pull that up out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna lift that and try and pull that through. Hopefully not pulling out any more wires that are in there. So let's just pull that out of the way. Just want to pull that through enough so that we because we don't need it you can take it out completely at the moment all i'm going to do is just take it out down out of the way so then we have the board exposed there as you can see right so the first thing we need to do guys is we will need to take this tiny cute little board here and we will need to uh, plug in this cable in so the cable in here will go into there so all you need to do is put it that way around as you can see on the back here the terminal should click into place how they should and then that's held in really nice and secure and that isn't going anywhere now a few fun facts about this board guys is this button can be used to program another remote control so if you have if you want to get another remote control to operate it so you can have other members of the family operate in this board then you can go ahead and hold this button down so all you need to do is hold that button down until it flashes and then press number one on your remote and that will program in another remote control for you to use if you want additional ones but no two remotes are the same so if anyone else has their model uh, you know they'll have a unique code programmed into that so their model will not interfere with your model if you're building this uh, and somebody else in the household is building it their remote won't interfere with yours so don't worry about that once they've got their board their board reprogrammed to their remote and it won't interfere with yours the next thing we're going to do guys we're going to take this extended cable we're going to move that over so that we can have that underneath we will need to tidy these up and keep them nice and neat just so that everything stays in place what we need is we just need to pull this one over here underneath this just to make sure that everything goes into place so once that's around here like that that will sit underneath and then we can actually also attach this now onto the board so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach this onto the board so we're just going to put this into place that just goes at the top there i'm just going to plug that in just so you can see so that just goes on there so the red wants to be at the top and the black bit at the bottom so as you can see there the red up here and then the black bit at the bottom and then this piece will stick just underneath here like that up underneath just out the way so you can just stick that there so it's you know just tucked up so it's not no problem um you want to make sure that the cable will reach so the cable is going to reach over here and it's going to go into this board so the best thing to do first would be to install that first so i'm going to just put that through underneath there and then i'm just going to i'm going to place this into here so as you can see this has the proper connection the proper terminals where they need to go. So let's just click that into place there. There we'll just want to push that in. And remember this is only pivoting onto a box. So there you go. So that's now nice and neatly into place. And then what we will have to do is stick this board up under here. So if we can see that will go up nicely under there we will just put the sticky pads under there so we can put that in place. So what we're going to do now is take these double sided stickers, which are here, and we're going to place them underneath here. Oh, got a little straggly bit of glue stuck to it. So I'm going to do this a bit cat candy because I want you guys to be able to see. So that's just going to go up under there. And then you just need to replace, place the second one next to that. So let's just do that as well. 
just there. It doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect, as long as the board can stick to it. And then the board will go up under there and then hold it into place. Just push it nice and firm. Just be careful not to break anything enough. And then that will sit up underneath there like that. And then we can tuck it all up out of the way later on. We can move all these around and just put them neatly out of the way. But that should be everything we need to do in that stage uh, of it to be able to work. So we'll be able to power it all up. I'll get a nice detailed look for you quickly, just so you can see that. And then we'll go on and we'll pop the remote out of the water, dry it off, and then we'll get it all working. So as you can see now, guys, the board is now sitting down into places, just tucked up underneath there. Everything's going around nice and neatly, just all the way across there and then down into EM's board there. And then you've also got the power cable going into it, as you can see at the bottom in the corner there. If we go from the side, we might be able to see it a little bit better. And then there it is, it's just going down into the board there. So that's it. So that's how it should look when it's all ready to go. What we need to do now is we will need to just power it all up and that's what we're going to do. So as you remember at the start of the video, we popped this remote into water so we need to just take that out just to prove a point that it's completely waterproof and that you won't have any worries uh, with your remote getting wet because it is completely and utterly waterproof to any sort of like you know water that could get on it or any drinks that maybe spill on there just so you know there you go so it's all all taken off now and here is the lights still working just as it should out of the box so it's all perfect so what we need to do now guys we will need to go ahead and test that everything works so we will need to power the vehicle on so we need to do that by installing the power mod cable so you need to make sure you power the vehicle up make sure that's turned on we will turn the lights off a little bit just to make it a tiny bit darker just so we can see we need to press all on so if we press all on here that turns everything on. So we have, we'll turn this other light off as well. So let's just go flick this other light off as well so we can see. So as we can see there now, everything is on. So we have the uh, the lights on. So if we press number one, we've got number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. So that turns everything off. So everything is now, switched off so what we can do is we can now turn them on however we want using the remote control instead of having to press the one to six switches which we used to have to press so now everything is powered by this you know this unique remote control so if i just press number six there you go so they would be the lights so we can't do that one so press number five then we've got the lights coming on there number four number three number two and number one and everything is on as you can see all of the lights are now on absolutely superb so what i'm going to do is just going to lift you up a tiny bit so you can see and then i'm going to bring the vehicle round so you can see that everything is working so we have the the flux and the Christmas tree are working back there as well. You can probably just see the Christmas tree just behind there or working. And if we want to turn them on and off, we can do so with the remote control. So if we press number one, that'll turn off the, uh, the EL lights. And then we have number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. But if you want to, you can press all off as well. So you can turn them all off or you can just turn them all on just by pressing down all on. So then everything turns on at once. So you don't have to mess about pressing individual ones. Everything will turn on, including the front lights, the lights that are on the dash, the uh, the flux, the Christmas tree, the EL lights, which are going to be the, you know, the bands and everything. Everything comes on just like that. If you want to go one step further, guys, with the lights system so when you press this button to all on you can have leds on this light box here so you can go by this one to six switch from model mods and what that will do is that will tell you when the lights are on and off there we a red there we green light and a red light and when the green lights on on here that means it's on and when the red lights 
on the means is off. So just a nice little mod there. You can also install your own LEDs if you want to. Modern mods have said that you can install your own ones, but you will need to make sure they got resistors on. The best thing to do is go purchase the LEDs if you want to, drill out these little holes, put your own LEDs in, then that will go all the way to the back, and then you can wire them in to the uh, you know the boards that it came with and there is instructions on how to do that as well if you want to do that do hit up modern mods for that information and what it will happen is and then it'll be a nice little design you can buy the kit to paint yourself you can buy it painted pre-painted it looks amazing I'll put a picture up so you guys can see it but it looks absolutely fantastic but you'd have to take all this out unscrew it from underneath and do it if you want to you can just uh, take out you know drill a hole through here put your own leds in run the cable run the wires through and then just put it into the board and we could do a little video on that if you wanted to but that is how you do that but this is absolutely amazing so having all of this all under one remote control is absolutely fantastic just a little bit more information about this we'll just do all off for one moment so um Every, every time that you press the button, uh, the information sent is being changed and only the receiver knows it. So that's really good. And if you're building two cars, you know, uh, you know, each one of these are, you know, not the same. So if you want to, you can also program this to the vehicle. So you've got additional remote controls if you want to do that. Um, you know, so you can do it so that you can use one remote for... Um, both boards if you want to so if you're building another vehicle you can also have the one remote so it turns both of them on at the same time so there's just endless possibilities that this can do um, but you know you will be able to buy additional remotes of these uh, soon from modern mods which we will leave again in the description so you can go down and click on that to buy one of these for yourself if you haven't got the one to six switch you really do need to go buy it so guys, as you can see now, that is how you install the one to six switch. If you haven't already got one of these, please go to Modern Mods and grab yourself one. Look at this tiny little remote. I know that the car is in strip down mode because obviously we had to strip it down. We will do another video showing you how to rebuild the rest of this up uh, to put it all back together. Uh, but now we have a remote control that's gonna operate the whole car. So if we just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. So if we just turn off some of these lights, this is just such a cool thing. We'll probably leave that one on maybe, um, see how it goes. So is that gonna be bright enough? We'll flick off the other light as well. Just for the time being, just so we can have a look at all of the detail on the vehicle using the remote control. As you can see, it's probably pitch black, but we now have the remote to turn everything on. So there you go, one switch has turned all of this on, everything is working. You can see the flux and the Christmas tree just at the back here working. If we turn it around this way round, I don't know where that EL band's gone, it's just at the front there, there we go. As you can see, all of the dials and everything in there are working, the clock, the 88 miles per hour. And if I just put it back around this way, I'll just pull the EL cable to the front. So you can see, so that's the, look, how, look at the glow on the EEL cable. If you don't have the EEL cable yet, guys, you really need to go grab that. Right, so as I said, um, with the switch, you can turn them off individually. So we'll go back through the stages, start clicking them off individually, just so you can see them go off. And you can, you know, you don't have to now sit by your model and turn all these on by opening up the car to turn it on. You can now do it by a switch one at a time put each one on as you go look how cool that is absolutely fantastic so there you have it guys that is the end of the video i hope you liked it please remember to subscribe just by clicking the button down below please go check out modern mods and if you have any questions add it in the comment section down below and we should be able to answer them for you as soon as we can and thanks very much and see you on the next one take care now bye bye